Hey guys, Matt here with Finnick TG. So in this video we're going to go over how to install VMware tools in uh, Red Hat Enterprise Linux. The commands will also work in CentOS and Fedora. So the first thing you're going to want to do is get your vSphere client opened up and go to the virtual machine that you'll be installing VMware tools to. And depending on the version of your client, you can either click install VMware tools over here or you can go to the virtual machine go to guest OS and then install VMware tools. Um, once this screen pops up, go ahead and hit mount. So the next thing we need to do is log into the console of the VM where we'll be installing VMware tools and then log in. So we need to make a directory to mount the CD-ROM to. So let's go ahead and do the command sudo mkdir and then We'll do media cd-rom and then hit enter. And then since I'm not logged in as root and I'm using the sudo command, you have to put in the password for the sudo user. So now we need to mount the cd-rom into that new directory we just created. So we'll do sudo mount and then dev cd-rom and then the new directory is media cd-rom and hit enter and then we need to there's a compressed file in there we need to move into the temp directory so we'll do we'll use the copy command so cp media cd-rom and then VM, capital VM, um, case does matter, and then lowercase where, and then we'll use a star as a wildcard, period, T-A-R dot G-Z, and then we, our destination directory is the temp directory. So hit enter, and it should move that file, so now if we go to that temp directory so we'll use the cd command so cd temp and then let's list what's in there okay so there's our vmware tools compressed file so now we need to extract that um, before we do that let's go ahead and unmount our cd-rom so we'll do sudo u mount and then dev cd-rom That'll save us some trouble later. And then um, make sure you're in the temp directory already, and then we want to extract that file. So we'll do tar space x z v f, and then capital BM lowercase where our wildcard period g z. So what this will do is it'll extract that compressed file. Okay, so once that extracts, we should have a new directory. Um, so we'll, let's list what's in there, and we have a new VMware tools directory. So let's change our directory to that new directory. So it's cd vmware dash tools dash distrib and then hit enter. And now let's list what's in there again. Okay, so from this point, all we need to do is just run the, the script file. So to do that, just do sudo, and then period front slash indicating it's in the local directory, vmware-install.pl and then hit enter and then we get a message saying that you should really use open VMware tools and I have another video on how to install VMware tools that way but this video is how to do it manually so we'll go ahead and hit yes hit enter and then you can pretty much take all the defaults down through here
And that's all there is to it. So if you go back to your vSphere client, you'll notice that uh, vSphere Tools is now uh, up and running with the current version. So thanks guys. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe. Thanks.